Hello, I'm Mariana Figueiro. I'm a professor and I'm a Lighting Health Program Director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In the previous video in this series, we talked about how proper light exposures can help synchronize our circadian rhythms to the local time on Earth so that we do the right things at the right times. Our circadian system is a blue sky detector. When our ancestors were in daylight first thing in the morning, in darkness after sunset, it naturally kept their circadian rhythms entrained to the solar day. You will experience this too if you go camping. After a few days, you'll probably wake up with the sunrise and fall asleep with the sunset. But thanks to electric lighting, we have access to light 24 seven and spend little time outdoors. At the LRC, our research is exploring tailored lighting interventions to promote circadian entrainment and minimize circadian disruption. To help accomplish this, the LRC developed the Circadian Stimulus Metric, or CS, to quantify light's effect on the human circadian system. CS is based on the extent to which a given light source of specific amount and spectrum suppresses melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that is produced at night and in darkness and is used as a marker of the clock's timing. Although we don't produce melatonin during the day, CS can be used as a surrogate metric for how much a given light affects the biological clock. CS ranges from 0.1, or no measurable melatonin suppression, to 0.7, the maximum suppression that's been observed. Short wavelength blue light has a greater effect on our circadian system than longer wavelength warm or red light does. And the greater the amount of light at the eye, the greater the response. For example, in a typical office, you can see just fine, but your circadian system interprets the lighting as near darkness. In addition to spectrum and light levels, three other qualities of light affect circadian entrainment. First is the timing of the light exposure. Being exposed to light soon after you wake up will shift the timing of your clock earlier. Light exposure in the evening at nine will shift it later. Second is the duration of the light exposure. The longer you're exposed, the greater an effect it will have. Third, light history matters. More light during the day protects you against light at night that causes disruption to your circadian system. Putting these factors all together, the LRC recommends getting high CS in the morning, at least 0.3, with bright bluish white light, and low CS in the evening, no more than 0.1, with dim yellowish white light. You may hear people using metrics other than CS when talking about lighting for health. For example, bluish light with high correlated color temperature, or CCT, tends to have higher CS, but you can't judge the CS of a light source just based on the CCT. Because manufacturers use different phosphors, the spectral composition of the light is different, even though the light looks very similar to us. Full spectrum lighting is a marketing term, which implies that the light source emits energy in all parts of the spectrum. However, Light sources other than full spectrum can deliver good CS. Melanopic lux is another talked about metric. Melanopic lux is, however, incorrect for many reasons. First, it is not in SI units. Second, it speaks to how light stimulates one photoreceptor, the intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells, or IPRGCs. But studies have shown that the circadian system uses all photoreceptors to respond to light, including rods, cones, and the IPRGCs. Third, melanopic lux does not predict the response of the circadian system to the light stimulus. In contrast, CS can predict the response of an important outcome of the circadian system, acute melatonin suppression. LRC has also shown in many peer-reviewed studies 
that appropriate CS levels throughout the day result in better sleep and mood. In the next video in this series, we'll review how to use the free CS calculator on the LRC's website, so you can find out how much CS a particular light source is delivering.